Dove Cameron recently hinted that the story might not be over. So we already know that the group is probably planning something, and as we wait, we might as well look at the possible angles Descendants may take. Welcome to Riveted. And in this video, we'll have a look at how a Descendants TV show spinoff could look like. We all agree that even though D3 was announced as the last sequel, the story is far from over. Dove Cameron said that there are endless possibilities, and we couldn't agree more. There are so many angles and characters to explore in the Disney universe, and Descendants barely exhausted half of the characters. Fans would love to see how characters like Elsa and Anna can be incorporated into the story, and we also know that some of the Disney kingdoms are part of the United States of Aradon, and we'd love to know what happens outside the capital of Aradon. Well, not everyone is sitting around and waiting for the Descendants team to come up with another storyline. We already have a couple of suggestions floating on the internet. Some people have already developed possible continuations, and the possibilities are, again, endless. Descendants has already got an expanded universe outside of the trilogy of movies, including various books that fill in the gaps between the movies, animated spin-offs, and live-action short movies, such as Under the Sea and Audrey's Royal Return. The animated series Wicked World is one of the remarkable spin-offs to the amazing franchise. Each episode is less than five minutes long, which is not enough to tell a Descendants story in details. The CGI animation design of the characters seem to be closely modeled after their live-action counterparts, and also take inspiration from the Descendants doll lines. The best thing about it is that it has a bunch of new and exciting characters other than the ones we love from Descendants. Jennifer Veal voices Ali, Mirna Velasco voices CJ, and Bradley Stephen Perry voices Zevin. If you're wondering who the new characters are, you might want to watch the animated series, or you can wait for the live action spinoff, which will definitely include the new characters as well. The one thing most people want to happen in a Descendant spinoff is the Royal Wedding. This is an excellent point to start a Descendant spinoff. It'd be great to see Mao's gown and watch all her friends dress up for the occasion. The dress would obviously be designed by Evie, and it would be great to see what she can come up with. We also know that Disney occasions always have many invited guests, and we may get to see other favorite characters at the wedding. In the coronation of Elsa from Frozen, viewers saw Rapunzel entering the gates of the castle. Imagine the guest list of a wedding happening in the capital of Aradon. Since Mal and Ben now rule over the Isle of the Lost and Aradon, everyone will be invited to the wedding. A Descendant spinoff will also have to look at how the new king and queen will foster relationships between the kids in the Isle of the Lost and the kids in Aradon. At the end of the day, they're still just kids who need nurturing, especially the ones who were locked up in a poverty-stricken island because of their moms and dads. Well, we also have to accept the fact that as much as the barrier was broken, some villains are still mad that they were trapped in the Isle of Lost for 20 years. At least three or four will still want to get revenge. Remember the last time we saw Maleficent? She was still a lizard, and in case she transforms into a human again, She's still going to be evil before she embraces the good. And when Maleficent says she's back, it's time to run. The Descendant spinoff could also focus on other people apart from the core four. It's not a secret that they are outgrowing the roles at Disney, and we all want them to pursue careers in other mature productions. The good thing is that D3 already introduced us to an amazing set of characters who may be the center of the next storyline. Take Celia, for instance. She has so much potential to be the main character in a Descendant spinoff, and she has the perfect best friend by her side, Dizzy. Celia has been described as feisty, sassy, and has a knack for being mean. In fact, during VK Day, Mal claimed that Celia could use a little time in Fairy Godmother's goodness class. She's also very mischievous and witty, especially in regards to making money. This is in the case of her interaction with Hades and the VKs while they were in the Isle of the Lost. It also is shown on other occasions, especially when she stole the key from the Core Four. We can't blame her, though. She simply learned from the best. Her mischief is partly due to being raised by her father, Dr. Facilier. The purpose of the Isle of the Lost was to make sure the villains didn't use magic. One sane person on the Isle is Dr. Facilier, and he's also a teacher in Dragon Hall. Well, we never got to see how life at Dragon Hall was, and a spin-off would explore that angle. And a new school would mean more students and more teachers. The powerful wizard Yen Sid would be sent to the island by King Beast to teach the villain kids how to adapt to using science instead of magic as one of the teachers in Dragon Hall. Celia easily fits the description of a queen bee in Aradon prep, and if the throne of Aradon weren't hereditary, she would probably sit on it one day. Viewers would also get to learn more about Smee's twins, since they were barely given time on screen. And in a Descendant spinoff, they would probably become more confident. Who knows? They may land beautiful girlfriends in Aradon. Plus, we'd also get to see Celia's and Dizzy's partners. Who do you think would make the perfect soulmate for the two best friends? The spinoff could also be centered on the descendants of our favorite descendants. Imagine the Core Four's children going to school together in Aradon. The next person in line to rule over Aradon in the Isle of the Lost would be Mal and Ben's child, so he or she will probably be the most popular kid in school. A spin-off could also introduce a jealous sibling to make things more interesting. The most amazing part is that the kids would have magic in Aradon, but they would be taught how to use it for good and not evil. The kids in the Isle of the Lost would have the opportunity to mingle with Aradon kids and face new challenges altogether. Of course, we don't expect everything to be perfect in Aradon. In a Descendant spin-off, some of the kids will be rebellious, and the good ones will have to fight them to restore peace in Aradon and the Isle of the Lost. 
Whose kid do you think is most likely to be rebellious in a Descendants spinoff? Our bet is on Uma's child if she finally agrees to date Harry and marries him. One good thing about starting the spinoff with the children is that Disney won't have to recast Carlos or find a way to explain his absence. It would be extremely difficult to have the other VKs without Cameron Boyce, so focusing on the children without their parents would be of great advantage. Plus, a mini Jarlos would bring back amazing memories. What about a look into the past instead of the future? After the villains were sent to the Isle of the Lost, every Disney film from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs to Tangled and the Fairy Tale Kingdoms were all free of evil and at peace. Beast and Belle got married and united the kingdoms into the United States of Aradon. They ruled Aradon as a whole, while other kings and queens ruled their respective kingdoms. Descendants introduced us to the kids when they were already grown up, but wouldn't it be great to know what they did when they were younger? We'd also get to see how the villains were actually stripped of their powers and sent to the Isle of the Lost. That battle must have taken quite a while because they obviously didn't go down without a fight. Bell and Beast must have gotten the help of many other characters to successfully lock the villains in the Isle of the Lost. The only source which gives us a glimpse of the past is the First Descendants novel. In the books, we only learn that Evie and her mom were banished because Mal wasn't invited to Evie's birthday. We also know that Mal locked Evie in Cruella's closet and she barely made it out alive. Evie and Carlos eventually became very good friends and their friendship continued even when they went to Aradon. Some fans were actually shipping Carlos and Evie, and it didn't come as a surprise. Mal, on the other hand, became partners in crime with Jay, the son of Jafar. They often competed to see who could get the best score, and Jay spent most of his days stealing stuff for his dad to sell at their shop. It'd be great to see how the parents interacted with their kids when they're younger. Then we would also learn how the core four parents met, became friends, and planned to steal the fairy godmother's wand. In the process, we may also learn about the love life and why they are all parenting their kids as single parents. Come on, there must be a very good reason for that one, right? One thing every Descendants fan is eager to learn is the other parent of the other villain kids, and a spin-off would clearly elaborate on that. Plus, there's also that love affair between Maleficent and Hades. How did they actually meet and fall in love, and then end up hating each other? Yeah, a spin-off of the past is actually a very good idea. The Descendants novels also give us amazing ideas for possible angles for a spin-off. In the book, The Owl of the Lost, there is a council of sidekicks, consisting of the Seven Dwarfs, Cinderella's mice friends, Pongo and Perdita, Ariel's sisters and Flounder, Flora, Fauna and Merryweather, and the Genie. Just imagine what this lot of people could come up with if the council storyline was explored. It would be interesting to watch how they make decisions considering they're all from different parts of the Disney universe. The council would probably get old and pass the mantle to the children and the next generation. So let's get on it, Disney. We know you are planning something and everyone is waiting to be entertained. As Dove Cameron said, it would be wise to explore the possibility of a spinoff because the franchise is very successful and the story is far from over. Is there anything you'd love to see happen in the spinoff? Let us know in the comments section below. And remember to subscribe to Riveted and turn on that notification bell so you never miss one of our daily amazing videos.